हेलो एवरी वन असलम वेलकम बैक एस आई टोल यू इन माई प्रीवियस ब्लॉग दिस इज़ अ ट्रिप टू कोरफा खान एज दिस प्लेस वॉज सजेस्टेड बाई माई हजबेंड्स फ्रेंड वी प्लान टू गो देर द नेक्स्ट डे ऑफ ईद दे वर देर ऑन द डे ऑफ ईद सो वी वॉन्ट टू गो फॉर अ लॉन्ग ड्राइव सो वी प्लान टू गो देर सो दिस टाइम इवन किड्स वे फीलिंग बोर्ड स्टिंग एट होम सो वी प्लान टू गो टू कोरफा खान माई नॉर्मल डे स्टार्ट विद अ कप ऑफ टी It's a cup of strong tea, and for breakfast, my kids wanted to have some pancakes. So I made pancakes for them and for us too. I try to get up early as possible so that I get a little bit of me time during tea time. That usually doesn't happen as my little one wakes up as soon as I wake up. and that's for my husband and kids that's butter and chocolate sauce i like my pancakes with maple syrup if there's no maple syrup i like it with jam and butter or nutella since there's no nutella too i ended up having it with jam but my kids love it with chocolate syrup and butter and these are the scenes the morning itself each one having their own mobile enjoying their time and after that they wanted me to put mehndi for them on the inner hands since i couldn't put it on the eat day and i didn't have much work that day i put for them the sad part is they'll just remove it off within 10 to 15 minutes and since these days mehndi cones get good color within 15 minutes it was okay for me and after that we just had to have a lunch and go since lunch was there the leftover biryani of the eid so we could start early by 4 4:30 we were out of the house we were planning to reach there before sunset and we were joined by my sister and her family so we went in two cars and in between they wanted to shift cars and we thought we'll stop at the petrol station so that kids can exchange cars boys with boys and girls with girls but unfortunately we didn't find any petrol station on the way so it's always better to fuel up your tank when you're planning to go to Corfa Khan so we had to stop in between so that they could shift their seating and they were happy that they could spend some time with their cousins and from there on we headed straight to Corfa Khan and it was an amazing sight to see the sand dunes on either side of the roads the camel farms and the oases The drive towards Kofa Khan was so beautiful that we couldn't take our eyes off it. And it's been a long time since we've gone for a long drives. The last we went was to Jabal Jais in Ras Al Khaimah. That was an amazing place. And this was quite different. Even my kids enjoy the beautiful drive. and the beautiful scenic beauty of the desert they wanted to explore more places after this and next on my wish is hatta inshallah very soon and this is what i wanted to show you all the beautiful and amazing view towards the korfa khan dam there were many tunnels about four to five tunnels these are newly developed tunnels Each one is about one kilometer, and this is an amazing view which I wanted to show you all. The best part is the drive towards the Korfa Khan Dam, the amazing sight of the mountains. Each entry to the tunnel was like going through the hyperloop. I think these are the newly developed areas by the Shah Jahan government. Kudos to them. This took me back to my childhood days when we siblings used to make mountains 
and digging tunnels. The best part is the drive to Korfakan. It's a beautiful view towards Korfakan. The only thing which we missed was tea and some snacks, which I didn't take this time. Most of the time I take and go. But this time I thought there'll be many cafeterias beside the roads. But found only one which was heavily crowded. So we, we thought we'll catch up with the petrol station and have tea. But no petrol station as well. So before the sunset, we headed towards Kofakan. And by the time we reached there, that's how long that this one is. The tunnel is and we experienced some traffic jam as it was the next day of Eid. for 16 kilometers. This drive towards Kofakan is going to get amazing during the winter season. The place we are heading to is on the left side of the road. It's called the Rafisa Dam. We just had to take a roundabout to reach that place. But once we reached the roundabout, the police diverted us. Otherwise, within three minutes, we could have easily reached there. We went for another 10 kilometers to take a roundabout. But it was a beautiful sight. We got a glimpse of the Korfa Khan. And by the time we reached there, Alhamdulillah, the sun hasn't completely set. 
so that we got a glimpse of the dam just few minutes before the sunset nice place with mosque rest area coffee shops all well lit it was a beautiful sight We just got few minutes to see the beautiful dam as before the total darkness creeps in. It was an amazing view and if you are in the UAE you must definitely visit this place. Not only you will love this place but you will love the drive towards Kofakan along the mountains and through the tunnels you will love the drive i enjoyed my visit and i'm sure you'll all like it too hope you all like this vlog and visit this place very soon Hope to see you all very soon with a recipe post or a vlog. Until then, take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.